Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Brittany and I'm on a mission to hit 5,000 subscribers. So make sure you click that button below. I would appreciate it. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a unique request. So if you're interested, then keep on watching. So as you guys know, I've actually been doing a lot of requests through Facebook, which of course I am very grateful for, but I actually received a request late last night and I honestly wasn't gonna film it because I sh kind of wasn't sure on how it was going to present itself. But after talking to some family and talking to my husband, they're like, film it. I think it's very unique, film it. So I was like, all right. So anyways, I had a customer reach out to me and basically they said, hey, I have a really weird request, but I need you to help me make a shirt on the front and on the back. It needs to say specifically, I don't like strangers, please don't talk to me. I thought, like I originally I was like, this is a, like a spam, this is a prank, like what's going on? So come to find out, she basically said that her daughter is absolutely terrified of strangers and she's going to be flying for the first time ever. So she was like, listen, if you can try to help me out, I'm just, you know, trying to calm my daughter down, hopefully by making a shirt to just, you know, ease the situation. So I was like, okay, <laughs> like no problem. Come to find out it was a legit thing. We've been going back and forth and I've gone ahead. I went and she was like, hey, can we do kind of like a cute font, you know, things of that nature, kind of keep the t-shirt the color cute. So I'm like, okay, no problem, right? Like odd request, but let's try to keep it cute. Gotcha. <laughs> so basically I went ahead, I sent her over a few font options. I'll go ahead and pop them up here so you guys can take a look at them. And then she did specifically ask for a pink shirt with black lettering. So I went ahead, since it is a last order, I did have to pick the shirt up from Hobby Lobby. And to be honest with you, I really do like this brand. It's the Creations of Grace. So these are great quality shirts, even with embroidery, but for this particular one, we are actually doing vinyl. So again, I originally thought that she was putting one saying on the front, another saying on the back, but she did confirm she basically wants it to say the same thing on the front as well as on the back. So I got her covered. So let's go ahead. We're going to jump into the Cricut, print off this image and give her her custom shirt she's looking for. So I have this shirt here and basically all that I'm going to be doing is I will be measuring to see how far across I can make the image, basically how big I can make it. So from this, it looks like I can go about eight and a half inches, which is good because again, even though it's not a whole lot of writing, it's on a small shirt, so it will look like a lot of writing. And I'm gonna go ahead and drop this down to 8.5. Now the really cool thing I did notice with Cricut, unless this is just, you know, me not paying attention, if you're actually making the image bigger and smaller, there's a tiny little black box that will actually show you your measurements. So I really do like that feature. It might be a newer feature with Cricut because honestly I don't always remember seeing that. So I've gone ahead, I did shrink it down to 8.5 inches long by 1.8, 1.89 inches tall. Wasn't talking to the camera, so I didn't know if you heard me. So all that we're gonna do at this point, honestly, is just double it because we're doing the same for the front, we're doing the same for the back, and we are actually going to be doing black. So let's go ahead and make this creation.
This is a side rant I just want to throw out to you guys. Do not purchase from heat transfer vinyl. If you guys do, it literally shreds in like pieces and nearly impossible to weed your stuff. If you have a wholesale place that you are purchasing your vinyl through, please let me know because I'm trying not to purchase it through Cricut. Clearly I do like Cricut, I obviously have one. However, you're really not getting your bang for your buck based off of the like length in which they're giving you. When I purchased this, I think I bought it, well it was a Black Friday, so I bought it for like, I don't know, $2 and it was like five feet, right? Feet, not inches, feet. So I was like, oh my God, that's a great deal. Now don't get me wrong, the vinyl is good and it works well. However, when you have like little tedious images like this or images in general, it just shreds in like pieces and it doesn't come off in chunks. Therefore, it's taking you longer. I digress. All right, so here is the image, right? We went ahead, we got it all weeded out and now we do have to cut it. Now, of course I did warm up my heat press while it was pressing. I obviously cleaned my craft room, so you guys probably saw a little bit of that. Just because as soon as I'm done with my projects, I wanna be able to walk out and then not have a mess to clean up after it. That's just me, that's how I personally run. How do you guys do it? Do you guys clean up as you go or do you clean up at the end? I don't know why, I just always have to clean as I go. So we're just gonna go ahead and map this out. And then always fold it in half in order to get your center. Ooh. I'm running into like little chunks of vinyl that I pulled off. That's why I said it like shreds in pieces. So here's that. Okay. I don't like strangers, please don't talk to me. So there you guys have it. Front and back image complete it. To be honest with you, I'm not gonna lie, this is actually really cute. Almost a shirt that I would probably wear out in public. So now I'm actually curious, do you think that people are actually going to listen to what is said on the shirt or do you think it's gonna end up drawing more attention? I mean, I don't know, that might be a, a good 50-50 split. Let me know your thoughts below. I would uh, be very interested to see what you guys would say. Would you actually go up to the kid and be like, oh, you have such a cute shirt? Or would you respect what it said and just say nothing and keep on pushing? Anyways, I just thought I would share it. Like I said, very odd request. However, I do completely understand it. You know, of course, when you are traveling with a little one, you wanna make it as smooth as possible. So if you already know how your kid's gonna react, you might as well just nip it in the butt and throw a t-shirt on them. <laughs> so hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you could, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next crafting project. Bye, everyone.